Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode number three of Infinity Bottle Evolution. I am your host, EJ, here with my trusty sidekick, my Infinity Bottle, as per usual. Uh, before we get started today, a little bit of housekeeping to take care of. Uh, number one, if you're watching, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Um, we're growing something new here, trying to build this community up, and we can't do that without your support. Um, takes 30 seconds to sign and hit that subscribe button means the world to us. So please do that. Um, last video, I mentioned that we were striving to get up to 250 subscribers. I'm going to step back a little bit. Uh, my first goal, I'm going to shoot for 100. Um, if I can get 100 subscribers, I am at that point going to run a contest where I pour a two ounce sample and uh, give it give it away to somebody, some sort of... Um, contest, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when the time comes. Number two, um, I'm looking to trade. Uh, I definitely want to try your infinity bottle. So if you're watching, go ahead and, and shoot me a message. Um, I'd love to work out something where we can share each other's infinity bottles. Uh, what I want to do long-term big picture is I want to do at the infinite infinity bottle, which will be an infinity bottle made up of samples of others' infinity bottles. Of course, I'm going to try yours individually. If you send me a two ounce pour, we'll put a one ounce pour into the infinite infinite infinity bottle and a ounce into me. Um, so please uh, reach out if you're interested, if you're playing around with infinity bottles yourself. Um, number three, um, today what we're, I did is I did something a little bit different. I went ahead and pre-poured um, to get kind of let my uh, Infinity Bottle breathe a little bit before we get going. So I've already poured out an ounce for myself. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of the housekeeping stuff. Um, so now let's get into it. So first and foremost, as I mentioned, I want to trade. Setting up my first one right now. A uh, good old friend of mine reached out and he is a bourbon head also. And he has been inspired to start an infinity bottle. So this is going to be my first sample going out the door. Um, I'm going to do a two ounce pour. And this will be heading out the door to my buddy. And he is going to be sending me a um, two ounce pour from his infinity bottle. So that way we can try what each other are working with. Um, now, I did make sure to take the time to boil out these sample bottles prior to the pour um, to make sure that there's no outside influence in the bottle. So, um, subscriber, you know who you are out there. This is uh, version number three, two ounce pour for you, coming your way soon. Um, please reach out if you're interested in getting in that mix. All right, so um, last time we ended with about 18 ounces in the bottle. Um, I did pour out an ounce for myself today as well as two ounces for that sample. So right now we have 15 ounces in the bottle. Definitely decided that I wanna fill this bad boy up. I'm done playing around with this half full, little over half full bottle. Um, today I'm gonna to be adding pretty aggressively. I brought a whole bunch of bottles in here because I didn't really want to decide too much about what I was adding until I did sample today. Um, so yeah, that's that's gonna do that. Like I said, I do have three finished uh, bourbons that I will be adding today. I know that out the gate. Um, also, Initially, I was saying that I was going to do anywhere from a half ounce to a two ounce pour. I think I've decided that I'm going to go an ounce to two ounces of everything. Gives me the opportunity to reach into my cabinet, keep pouring from some of the bottles that I've poured in here already um, to kind of run down my bottles a little bit. Um, because quite honestly, I have a lot of open bottles right now. Um, I want to go out and buy more. I've got to drink what we got. You know what I mean? Like we can't keep it around forever. Whiskey doesn't last forever. Um, I don't want it to oxidize. So I'm kind of on a pause right now with a handful of exceptions. There are some bottles I'm seeking, but I'm not really buying too much bourbon currently. Um, so got to run down these bottles so I can start buying again, start add, adding new things in the mix. Um, so let's start with a sample. Now, last time uh, we had um, added four different things in the mix um, that were already in there. We added some Noah's Mill. We added some uh, bluegrass distillers. We added some um, Cast Strength Maker's Mark and also added, I can't recall. Oh, we killed the bottle of um, 
Davies County um, poured a little in and I killed that over the weekend. Um, so we tried to up the proofage a little bit, still have a really nice color here. Um, you can also see that I've upgraded my glassware. Uh, talk about glassware for a second. This was a, a set of um, bourbon glasses I got off the internet, 20 bucks for a four pack. It was a good glass, um, good for uh, small portions, good for nosing, but I stepped up. I, I got myself a couple um, Venkarians this week. Um, so I am very excited to um, see how this works with my infinity bottle today. So let's, let's start. On the nose, I'm definitely getting that sweetness back. Um, my second version had a lot less sweetness. Um, this time I'm definitely picking up on sweet corn. Almost like a little, a little bit of like candy in the mix. Like a confectionery sugar, a sort of uh, sort of thing going on in the nose. Pretty uh, pretty mild nose, honestly. I thought that proofage increase was really going to do some some things to the nose, but not too much. All right, well, cheers. The heat's definitely kicked up. My, I definitely was able to get what I was looking for last time, and I was up, able to up that proofage a little bit. can taste it. Definitely pretty vanilla forward. Um, getting a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, that very well could be the, the little bit of uh, Noah's Mill that I added in the mix last time. A little bit of that syrupy sort of thing going on. Um, good mouthfeel, not too thin, not too full. Get that nice warming Kentucky hug going. It's pretty good. I've got a sip left here, but I'm going to set it down for a minute. And we'll work on uh, adding some things in the mix and then go back to it. All right, so like I said, we're probably about 15 ounces right now. My goal today is definitely to get this up to probably closer to close to full. Um, not not all the way full, but close to full. So let's let's go ahead and add a few things that are not in the bottle yet, since I've expanded my horizons a little bit and decided to add some things with finish. Um, so this hasn't made it in the bottle yet. Um, few um, pick this up on a. Uh, whim. Um, it's bourbon whiskey with cold brew coffee. So it's got a, a little underlying cold brew coffee in the mix. Um, didn't really affect the, the flavor profile or stand out too much in my opinion. Um, I'm an uh, amateur coffee roaster as well. So um, this one jumped out at me, um, you know, just being something a little bit different. So we're going to go ahead and pour an ounce of this in there. Oh no! Camera shifting. <clears throat> All right. So that's an ounce of few. Cassius Clay. Um, I was a huge fan of this distiller's product when it still existed. Um, the, the one that had the little bit, um, cannon on the top. Um, was one of my favorites. Sorry, guys. Got a lot of slippage with my camera today. Um, I was a huge fan of that bottle when it still existed. It's no longer being produced. Um, this is a bottle from them. It's a Whiskey Symphony, um, straight bourbon whiskey, finished in sherry cases. Um, or casks, rather. <laughs> cases. Um, bottle number 685, 100 proof. Um, nice bottle. Um, one that... Six year, six year um, is what they what they use in here. So um, I like it. 
It's um, not something I drink a whole lot. A lot of times when I drink bourbon, I don't I don't want something finished. I want something pretty uh, pretty straight up, pretty classic. Um, so this one um, doesn't get poured a lot, um, but it's it's getting there. Uh, probably a little over halfway through the bottle. We're gonna go ahead and add, add an ounce of this. Honestly, I'm, I'm interested to go back to this bottle. It's been a while since I sampled it, and I feel like my palate's gotten a lot better since my last drink. Um, it's another really nice-looking bottle. Quite honestly, I'd, I'd love to turn this into a, a case for um, an Infinity in the future. The cork's a little loose, though, so probably not the most airtight thing in the world. Um, this one I picked up on a whim. Um, just kind of saw it. Um, Noble Oak. Um, it's a double oaked bourbon. Um, it's another one. This one has sherry oak staves um, in the mix. So it's not um, in a barrel. It's just got some, some barrel pieces placed in for the mix. Um, pretty cheap bottle. It was like 30 bucks. Um, it kind of got me on the marketing a little bit. Every bottle plants a tree. That's the earth guy in me. But, uh, I drank a little bit of this this weekend um, to refresh myself on it. It's a bottle I picked up about a month ago. Um, it's good. Um, in my opinion, it's got that like cough syrupy sort of um, diamond tap sort of thing going on a little bit. Um, not something I'd reach for all the time, but nice around the holidays. Um, nice when you want something a little bit different and pretty affordable. Like I said, 30 bucks a bottle, I think. Um, Honestly, it was a little better than I expected it to be at 30 bucks. 30 bucks, I feel like any more in the uh, the bourbon world is not really that expensive. Um, you know, anything that I'm not familiar with that I can get for under 35, I'm a little bit skeptical of, and I kind of buy it knowing that like very well might turn into a mixer. Um, so yeah. Got an ounce of that in the mix as well. Uh, that one is a 90 proof, so another one that's, uh, you know, kind of run-of-the-mill as far as bourbon is concerned. Let's uh, taste this again before we start deciding what we want to add. Coming back to the nose. Yeah, very, very similar to what I was tasting earlier or smelling earlier. Proof is, is definitely up in that. It's definitely got some burn on it. Um, I think today I'm going to actually try to stick to some of the things that are a little uh, less proofed to try to balance this a little bit because let's face it, it's not always just going to be me drinking this bottle. So, um, you know, I can't necessarily always go with just what I'm going to want. Um, so with that said... I'm going to pour some Dickel 15 year in. Um, I, I, once again, I, I really like this bottle um, for what it is, for, for the age that you get for 60 bucks. Um, I think it's pretty, pretty damn good. Um, I'm going to, there's a half ounce of this in the mix already. Ah, screw it. Let's go a full ounce. I was going to do a half, but then I got a little heavy handed in my pour, so why not? So there's an ounce of that in the mix. Woodford Reserve, double oaked. Don't really love uh, Woodford Reserve, um, the, the, the straight regular product that they offer, um, but I like this bottle. Um, once again, it's one that I haven't touched too much, but uh, there's a half ounce in the mix. Currently, I'm gonna add another half. A little spillage. All right, so let's see here. All right, so I got that new glassware and something I was pretty pretty down on the first time I, I drank it and uh, when I did my first video here. But last night, I did revisit the Dark Hollow. Um, I, I wanna like it, guys. I really do, considering it's from uh, my neck of the woods. It went down a lot better in the, uh, the new glass. Um, I definitely 
got a lot more flavor profile. And it could be because I let the bottle breathe a little bit. Could be that it's been open for a little bit now and there's been a little bit of oxidation going on to change the profile. Um, still not my favorite, but I definitely didn't dislike it as strongly as I initially thought I disliked it. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and pour another half ounce in. This is one that I'm, I'm interested to, um, to drink with some of my bourbon buddies, um, to get their take on it because I haven't shared this bottle with anybody as of yet. So I'm always curious what others think about things that I don't necessarily like. Uh, let's go with something I really like now for a Rose's single barrel. I'm going to go ahead and do another half ounce. Um, this one is a barrel 35-E Warehouse NN. Um, as I said earlier, I really, really like this bottle. I've had four roses that I love. I have four bar four roses that I haven't really loved. Um, this bottle, though, I've thoroughly enjoyed to this point. Um, I've been kind of nursing it a little bit because I don't want to run through that bottle too quick. Um, you know, that's always the double-edged sword with bourbon, right? You find something you really like, you don't want to kill it, especially when it's a single barrel because you might never get that particular flavor profile again um, with every barrel being a little bit different. Uh, let's see here. Mellow effing corn. Uh, <laughs> I love it. 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 It's, I think, my go-to, uh, my go-to, I think it's my go-to, uh, cheap bottle these days. Um, but I wanted to try it again, so why not? Set that down for a minute, let it breathe. So I just added a half ounce of that in the mix. Uh, let's go. Hmm. I'm going to bust this one back out. Uh, the Bluebird Distiller Four Grain. Um, I, I really like the, uh, the flavor profile here. It's pretty complex. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add an ounce. Screw it. Yeah, when I first bought it, I thought it was it was a little overpriced for what it was. Um, starting to starting to come around on this one a little bit. Um, once again, though, guys, I'm I'm not a snob. I'm really pretty uh, pretty flexible when it comes to bourbon. Um, there's not many things I drink that I hate. Um, you know. Like I said earlier in this video, I also do some amateur coffee roasting, and I find with beverages in general, I like to take the positives, you know? I could sit here all day and say, oh, it's not complex enough, eh, the flavor profile, eh, I would have done X, Y, Z, but you, you, gotta, you gotta take everything with a grain of salt. Um, I've yet to have something whether it be coffee, whether it be bourbon, whether it be beer, whether it be a tea, whether, it, you know, whatever it might be, uh, I don't really find a lot of things that are like, oh, this is the bee's knees. This is the end all be all. I find a lot of times that the things, sorry for the slippage, guys, I will, I will work on that. I'll get a little better with my, my videos as time goes on. Um, but as I was saying, you know, I tend to try to, to really just kind of, you know, enjoy the upside in a lot of things rather than look at the negatives and tear things apart. It's just who I am as a person. Um, doesn't mean that everything I say is, is okay or is decent is going to be my everyday reach. Um, there's a time and a place for everything, right guys? Um, uh, of that mellow corn. It's sweet. It's real sweet. I mean, <laughs> talking about taking the positives and everything, that's it's not an everyday drinker. That's not something I normally drink straight. Uh, it's definitely more of a mixer, but I think it's really solid for what it is. Um, so we're getting we're getting there, guys. Uh, I'm going to go 
a little bit more, maybe another ounce or two in the mix. Um, you know what? I, I haven't I haven't done a video yet where I, I haven't added some makers, so let's add some more makers. Um, I'm going to add an ounce of my private select, uh, the Wilco Whiskey in the mix. I know I said earlier that I want to um, downproof this bottle a little bit, and here I am adding 113 proof into the mix. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, I'm starting to get down to the bare bones of the things that there's only a half ounce in. I don't want to, you know, put all my favorites in today. Um, let's go with something muted. Let's go with something that doesn't really do a whole lot for me. I'm not going to slaughter the name today, guys. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it today, but this is the Horizon. Um, another another one. This is just kind of bores me a little bit, honestly. I kind of want to polish this bottle off, so I'm, I'm going to put a full ounce in. And let's go one more. Get this bottle nice and nice and full. Um, so for the last one today, let's go. Let's go, Elijah Craig. Um, just the the standard small batch. Um, good bottle. Great uh, beginner whiskey, entry level whiskey. One of my favorites when I got started drinking whiskey. Um, another one, like I said last time, not. I don't reach for it a whole lot anymore, but it's a good thing to have in the cabinet. You know, you do occasionally get that company over who's not uh, necessarily huge bourbon heads, um, wants an entry level bourbon or an entry level whiskey, um, something pretty drinkable. I find that to be a pretty good fit for a lot of those sort of situations. So that will do it for today, guys. Um, you know, definitely um, accomplished my goal and got this bottle a hell of a lot more filled. Um, and that, once again, the reason I want this filled is because I want to share this. I want to give some away. I want to trade some away. Um, I want to keep um, oxidation levels low. Um, so now we are currently at 28 different um, bourbons and or American whiskeys in the mix here. Um, Bottle's gonna continue to evolve, continue to change. Um, like I said, not really buying a whole lot of bourbon currently. So I very well might be revisiting some of the bottles that we added today. Um, I have some other ones that are on my B list that didn't get added today, but we'll probably get added next time. Um, thank you for joining us uh, once again. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Uh, it does huge things to help us out. Um, if you're interested in trading samples of your Infinity bottle for some of my juice, please reach out. I'd love, love, love to do a little bit of a trade. Um, I'm hoping that next time I visit you all that um, I will have uh, my buddy's sample and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of mine against his. Um, like I said, if somebody sends me a two ounce pour, one ounce is going in my throat on video with y'all. So that way we can kind of explore other people's infinity blends as well. And then a half or one ounce is also going to go into the infinite infinity bottle, which is going to be a mix of mine along with everybody else's infinity bottles that I interact with out there. Um, that's going to be a fun project. That's going to be something very, very unique and very different, um, something I haven't seen done yet before. Um, hit that like button, hit subscribe. Thank you for watching. Um, enjoy, drink responsibly, have fun with it. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Cheers, guys. See y'all all again very soon. Take care.